Well, hello, welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. You find me every morning in the dark in the car. It is 4.56 a.m. I'm actually on my way to boot camp to kick off the week. I'm actually filming this video on Monday, which is a boot camp day. I did have part of my protein coffee this morning. I actually ordered the pumpkin premier protein shakes off of Amazon. I haven't been able to find them locally in any store, so I ordered a case off of Amazon. I'll link the ones I ordered. They were affordable, pretty much the same price as buying them in the store, maybe even a little bit less than if you bought a bunch of four packs. The pumpkin premier protein is so good. So I actually put that in my coffee this morning. I'll finish that up when I get home from boot camp before I have breakfast, get ready for the day. I am making a TJ Maxx run today. I wanna see what they have for our new house. I'm still on the hunt for more jars and organizers for my pantry. And then of course, if anything else speaks to me at TJ Maxx, actually let me roll my window up so you can hear me better. Then I will pick that up as well. Some good food planned for you guys today. I have a really good dinner recipe plan. It's gonna be a busy day, but it's going to be a good day. So let's get my workout in, kick our day off right. The mosquitoes are finally gone. So all I have today is my water, my weight, my mats, and let's get in our workout. I am home. I am ready for the day and I am definitely hungry. I did finish up my protein coffee while I got ready and now I'm going to make some breakfast. So I have the pumpkin bagels from Trader Joe's. These are my favorite pumpkin bagels. I love them, but I only eat half. So you can see that there's half of a bagel left from the last time that I had a pumpkin bagel. That way I can still enjoy the things I really want to enjoy during this season, but be mindful of my portion. So I'm going to toast up the other half of my pumpkin bagel. It's a 240 calories for a full bagel, so 120 for half. And then I put on one tablespoon of the Trader Joe's pumpkin cream cheese. So if I ate the whole bagel, I'd do the two tablespoons. But since I only eat half the bagel, I do one tablespoon. It's two tablespoons for 70 calories. So it'll be 35 calories for the one tablespoon of cream cheese. And then I think I'm going to scramble up one full egg and two egg whites. And that way I get in some protein, some healthy fat. And then I get to, like I said, enjoy the foods I really want to enjoy because I'm still definitely into all the pumpkin this year. So pumpkin bagel with pumpkin cream cheese and some eggs. So here is my breakfast. So I have half of a pumpkin bagel with one tablespoon of pumpkin cream cheese. And then I did one full egg and two egg whites. So I just finished my breakfast and I'm gonna mix up my one up creatine. I had to tell you guys that this is the first time I've tried the citrus punch flavor. This is so good. It reminds me of Lemonade and Fruit Punch had a baby. It's so, so good. I don't know if this was a new flavor or just a flavor I hadn't tried yet, but I love it. And I'm going to mix that up with some water in my Hydro Jug. I've also been getting some questions about Hydro Jug. I actually have a discount code for them. I purchased a while ago, I actually shared it in a What I Eat in a Day, like 10 different cups for that from them. I love these cups, they're the ones I use every single day. So let's mix up my creatine for the morning. I do also have a 20% discount code for one up. So Auntie Amy, when I went to California, got Lola some special low protein treats. They're these little like, they're these little peanut butter banana bars. And then Palmer gets these ones. Oh, here's your treats for you. And here's the treats for you. So I'm sitting in my office getting a little bit of work done. Sipping on my creatine, I need to finish up my supplements for the morning. So a while ago, I shared this with you guys from Purality Health. This is the Lutheon. I never pronounce it right. I'll pop it up here on the screen. My bottle is almost gone. I've absolutely been loving this. I've already taken this this morning and now I'm going to take my other Purality Health supplement that I love. And let me just tell you, not only do I love this, 
Troy absolutely loves this. This too is almost gone. I need to order another bottle because both of us have been taking this every single day. And this is their Micelle Liposomal Turmeric with Fulvic Acid. Now I've shared here on my channel multiple times that I actually suffer from inflammation. I've always suffered from inflammation and turmeric is one of the most natural supplements you can take to alleviate infl inflammation. And I have tried so many and this this is insane good. It started working within just a couple of days for me. I raved about it to Troy and now he takes it every day as well. Turmeric acts as a powerful antioxidant that can support the body's natural health response. It actually is a plant that has a very long history dating back nearly 4,000 years to help promote the health of joints and even alleviate discomfort. The Purality Health is the best turmeric supplement that you can take. It's actually absorbed more in your body than turmeric in its natural form. Quality organic full spectrum turmeric. With added organic glycerin extract and fulvic acid, the unique micelle liposomal delivery method protects the turmeric molecules from breaking down in the digestive tract so they can be delivered safely to the cells that need it. So what is in Purality Health turmeric supplement is organic turmeric extract, again, full spectrum with 199 powerful active compounds, organic glycerin extract, which removes any unnecessary byproducts from the turmeric root, leaving behind the vital nutrients in a super concentrated form. Fulvic acid contains over 77 macro and trace minerals in their natural ionic form, allowing them to offer superb absorption capability. Really simple to take this and it actually tastes really good. That's the one thing about some of these supplements that I haven't liked in the past is they don't taste good, but both of my supplements from Purality Health taste amazing. You can also put this on a spoon. You can mix it into beverages. Just make sure that they're room temperature. Put it in smoothies, put it in yogurt. You can add this to so many different things. But what Troy and I both do is just pump it directly onto our tongue. So a serving is eight pumps. To me, it has a little bit of a citrus taste to it with very, very little turmeric taste. Like I said, it tastes really good. It's a gel like, it's a thin gel like consistency. And like I said, for me and Troy, it's just easy just to pump it on our tongue every single day. Each bottle is a full month's usage for one person. So like I said, I need to go ahead and order another bottle for myself and Troy because this one is down to about here. Purality Health makes the best natural supplements with the best ingredients and the most effective. A lot of you have ordered this and have been loving it and I'm so excited for you to try out the turmeric. If you suffer from inflammation, joint issues, or if you work out a lot like me, this is really going to help with that joint recovery. I cannot recommend it enough. I will link it down below for you with a 30% discount. I'll link this as well if you didn't pick it up from my last video. You can grab it as well for 30% off. Like I said, these two things have become staples for us. It is time for some coffee. I've got a little bit more work to do in my office. I have another coaching call. I'm still using the Trader Joe's pumpkin spice cold brew. This one is actually almost gone. We'll finish this one up today. I do have one more in my arsenal. If I make it back to Trader Joe's before it's gone, I'll grab another one. I really, really like this. I've been changing up how I'm making my coffee though. So I've been doing the concentrate. So I do one part coffee, one part water. I do like mine a little bit stronger. The directions on the back say one part coffee, two parts water. So if you like your coffee stronger, do a one to one ratio. If you like it a little less stronger, do a one to two ratio. And then I've been using my non-dairy oat cream or brown sugar from Trader Joe's. These two together are so stinking good. I don't know what it is about this, but it brings out the spice in the pumpkin spice cold brew. And then for fun, I top it with a little bit of the pumpkin spice whipped cream from Target and some pumpkin pie seasoning. So let's make a pumpkin coffee. Look at how amazing this looks. I'm telling you, it is so incredibly good with this oat milk creamer and the pumpkin spice cold brew. So I'm going to head out the door to TJ Maxx. Like I said on my way to boot camp, I'm still looking for containers and things for my pantry. I would really like to have all of those in my hot little hands when our house is finished so that I can get my pantry organized right away. When we moved here, we had to eat all our meals out for a couple weeks and I'm going to try to prevent that as much as possible. Obviously there will be some meals that need to be eaten out just because we'll be moving. But if I can have my pantry set up pretty quickly, I should be able to get back in the kitchen and making those healthy meals. So so we're going to make a fun little TJ Maxx run. Okay, these are so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, there's little ghosts. And then 
turkey and Thanksgiving stuff. These are sponges. I really like these pa pantry, I almost said pastry, pantry canisters with the wood lid. They have quite a few. I think these would be really good for my pantry. They're plastic rather than glass. And they have smaller ones too. I may pick up a few of these. So I'm going to get two large. They're $6.99 each and then two of the small. We have Christmas already. Kind of crazy. I'm also on the hunt for soap dispensers for our bathroom. Ooh, actually, I kind of like these. I need two, that's the problem. I bought that white flower one for my guest bath. They don't have two of this one, only this one. So I think I'm gonna skip it and they're a little bit more on the tan side than I wanted. I always stop by the dog treats. I think I'm gonna get these Benny bars. They're chicken and coconut and they don't have a ton of protein. So I think I'll get them for Lola and Palmer. This is the area that always gets me when you're in line. So the only other things I got were the Sanders Thins. I love these. These were at the checkout, of course. Like I said, the checkout always gets me. And then Troy, if you're watching this video, stop watching. So I did get him this birthday card. Our birthdays are coming up in November. Oh my gosh, it looks like Palmer, kind of. Palmer's a little bit more gray, but how stinking cute is this? It was only $2.99. So of course, got that at the checkout. It is time for lunch. I'm actually getting really hungry. I did not have a morning snack, just my coffee. For some reason, I just wasn't very hungry and then all of a sudden it hit me and now I'm hungry and ready for some lunch. So what I'm going to do for lunch today is I'm going to cook up one of these Gilbert's Caprese chicken sausages. I bought these for a recipe a while ago. They've been sitting in my fridge. I want to focus on eating these up. They're actually really good. They have 13 grams of protein per sausage link. I like to dice it up, pan fry it, get it kind of nice and crispy. And then I'm going to have my protein pretzels. If you missed Sunday's video where I talked about my top 10 favorite snacks for top 10 favorite protein snacks. I'll link the video if you missed it. These protein pretzels were in there. These are the best thing I've ever eaten. To me, they taste just like regular pretzels and they're packed with protein. So the bag actually has one and a half serving, has two servings in it. It's 110 calories per serving, 15 grams of protein, per serving. So if you eat this entire bag, it's actually 28 grams. It's a little less than two servings per bag. I'm actually only going to have one serving of the pretzels because I'm going to dip it in hummus. So I have this roasted red pepper hummus that I picked up at Fry's. I need to eat this up as well. So we're gonna do one serving of protein pretzels, two tablespoons of red pepper hummus, and then I'm going to have a banana. I haven't had any fruit yet today. I'm planning something yummy for dessert that contains fruit, but I do like to have fruit two to three times per day. I'm going to go ahead and have a banana as part of my lunch. So here is my lunch. There is my Gilbert's Caprese chicken sausage. One serving of the pretzels, that's a lot. It's 18 pretzels per serving, couple tablespoons of hummus. I wanted to show you guys the pottery that I painted. So this is the Happy Halloween pumpkin that I painted. Isn't that so cute lit up? We definitely want to do a pottery night for boot camp girls. I, girls night, I would like to do something Christmassy, but how fun is that? I've actually already decorated for Halloween. There's even my little skull with the succulent in it that I bought at Trader Joe's a couple weeks ago. Let me know if you guys would be interested in just a quick Halloween tour, just all the Halloween decorations in my house, inside and outside. Side. We are fully decorated for the holiday. It's one of my favorites of the year. So let me know down below if you want a little Halloween home tour. It is time for my afternoon snack and I'm putting together a snack plate. Actually, let me grab my snack plate so I can show you them. So these are my favorite snack plates. I actually bought these on Amazon. It's a set of four of them. You get yellow, white, a teal, and a peach color. I really like these because this little cup here, you can put dips, sauces, really anything into the cup. Sometimes I put nuts in there if I'm adding nuts to my snack plate. These are fantastic, they, these are plastic, they are dishwasher safe, I love them. So I'm going to put a little snack plate together in one of these, and what I'm going to have is a bag of my Bada Bean Bada Boom. Again, this is another thing I shared in my top 10 protein snack video. I just ordered this variety pack off of Amazon. I'll link it for you. It is a really good deal, less than a dollar per bag. You get 24 bags total. Each bag 
bag is a serving. I really like that, that they're portioned out. It just makes it a lot easier. So you get eight bags of sea salt, eight bags of sweet sriracha, and eight bags of mesquite barbecue. It's 110 calories per bag, and there's six grams of protein. There's some fiber. It's just a really good crunchy snack. They remind me a lot of corn nuts, but they're fava beans. They're just a much healthier option, and again, a great way to get in some protein. I don't know what flavor I want today. I think today I'm gonna do the sweet sriracha, and you know I don't like spicy. So this is more sweet than it is spicy. So good. So we're gonna do a bag of bada bean, bada boom. Again, I'll link them down below for you off of Amazon. I have just a few cucumbers left over. I want to eat these up, so we'll do some cucumbers. I sliced up some sharp cheddar cheese, so I'm going to have a couple slices of cheese, and then Triscuit. So there's six crackers in a serving. So I'm going to do six Triscuit crackers and three little slices of cheese, which equates to one cheese slice, and I'm going to do a little cheese and cracker moment with my cucumbers and my bada bean bada boom. So here's my snack. I have my bada bean bada boom, my cheese, my serving of Triscuits and some cucumbers. I love a good snack plate for a snack. Oh, get him. Get Palmer. Get him, Lola. Yeah. He's so vicious. Get him, Lola. Listen to him. Palmer, you crazy? Yeah, crazy. For dinner tonight, I'm making stuffing crust chicken pot pie. You could do turkey pot pie as well, but let me show you what you'll need. So I'm going to use half and half. I would recommend whole milk if you want to lower the points and calories. On my website, I'll include whole milk. I just don't have any, so I'm going to use up the last of this half and half. Chicken broth, stuffing, you wanna do the cornbread stuffing. Mashed potatoes, you can buy them pre-made or make, make them yourself. Crispy onions is optional. We are 100% adding those. We love these. Light butter, frozen or fresh broccoli, turkey gravy, one third less fat cream cheese, light shredded cheese, salt and pepper, and then I'm using ground chicken. You can also use turkey, turkey tenderloin, really any meat that you want. The first thing I'm going to do is get my meat cooked up. Again, I'm using ground chicken. And then into a bowl, I'm adding two cups of stuffing, which is going to be this entire box. And then we're adding enough broth just to get a stuffing consistency. So just to get the bread wet. And then you're going to just let it sit for a minute and allow it to soak up all of the chicken broth. I have my round dish. I'm going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. I have my oven preheating to 350. I'm going to add my stuffing mixture to the bottom of my baking dish. And then we're just going to press that into place, kind of like we're making a crust. And then we're going to allow it to bake for 10 to 15 minutes or until it's golden brown. So I added two ounces of softened cream cheese and half of a cup of turkey gravy to a bowl. We're just going to kind of mix this together until smooth. Then we're going to add in our ground meat, about a cup of broccoli, Half of a cup of light shredded cheese and some salt and pepper and we're gonna stir this all together. Since I'm using pre-made mashed potatoes, I don't even need half and half or whole milk. If you're making your mashed potatoes from scratch, you will want to add some milk in when you whip them up. So I just pulled the stuffing crust out of the oven. Here is our mixture. We're going to put that right on top of the crust. And then just spread that out nice and even. And then we're adding our two cups of mashed potatoes on top. And again, just spread that out nice and even. And then again, the French fried onions are optional. You want about a half of a cup. I'm just going to sprinkle those right on top. We're going back into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until it's heated through. Everything is cooked and those onions are nice and crispy. I just took dinner out of the oven. This smells so good. Even Troy came out and said, ooh, that smells good. You can smell the onions. It smells incredible. I will go ahead and plate it up and I'll be back to share. Oh, quickly let me tell you, the recipe says six servings, but this is a big dish for only six servings. I think I'm going to do 
eight servings. So just so you know, you can kind of do whatever servings you want, but let me plate this up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is my dinner. This is a serving eighth of the casserole. This is a lot. It looks and smells so good. So I'll put all the information here on the screen for you. It is time for some dessert. I'm going to wash my face, put on my pajamas. I have a 90 day fiance to watch with Lola and I'm going to have my second protein supplement of the day for dessert. You have two protein supplements daily. It doesn't matter when during the day I have them. I just make sure that I get two in every day. That really helps me reach my protein goal. And I have been craving a smoothie. So what I'm going to do is make a smoothie using my one up nutrition, strawberry shortcake, ice cream, protein, powder. I love this. It literally tastes like these ice cream bars. I'm not even joking. It is so good. It is 150 calories and 25 grams of protein plus five and a half grams of BCAAs, which helps with recovery. And since I worked out this morning, did boot camp, this will be a great way to end out my night. My body can use the protein and the BCAAs while I'm sleeping to help me recover. So we're going to do one scoop of this. Again, I do have a 20% off discount code for one up. I will link it for you. I'm going to do eight ounces of fair life milk that'll give me another 13 grams of protein so between the two of these things that's 38 grams of protein and then i have this fruit mix it's blueberries strawberries and mangoes i'm gonna pick out the strawberries so that it'll go nicely with my strawberry protein powder just enough strawberries to give me to replace the ice in my protein shake so let's make our ice strawberry shortcake ice cream bar protein shake on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, seeing everything that I ate. Tonight's dinner recipe is delicious. It is on my recipe website. I will have that at the top of the description box for you. I will link Purality Health. Definitely grab the turmeric, grab all their supplements. They're so good. I'm actually going to order the ashwagandha because I've heard really good things about that. I'll update you in another video on that, but that's the next one that I'm going to order. Uh, everything else I shared with you today with discounts will be in the description box, along with nutrition coaching links and discounts to all of my other favorite things. Don't forget, come join our free Facebook group. Our holiday challenge just started on Tuesday, so it's not too late to come join us. Definitely will help you make it through the end of the year without the 10 to 12 pound weight gain. I'll put the link to the holiday challenge post in my Facebook group as well. And I love you. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.